Okay, so sometimes, let's say you're building a garage and you have your garage pad already poured, the concrete's there, and you want to frame your walls on top of your pad, right? So basically, when you first step that you want to do is you want to make sure that it's square. Okay, now a lot of times in, in experiences that I've had in the past is that the garage pad isn't the isn't square or isn't to size, right? And I'll give you a few examples. So typically, or what you'd want to do to check for square is, uh, and this is the clincher, is you have to, so let's say you want to check this building for square. This side, this side, and this side have to be equal lengths, right? So let's say they're 20 feet and 20 feet. They have to be the same, and let's say this is 30 feet and 30 feet. Those have to be the same in order so that when you measure diagonally and diagonally, if your di diagonal measurements both equal the same and these measurements all line up, that makes this building square. Now, because normally what you'd want to do is if you're building a garage pad, you know, if you're using two by six walls, you just measure in from the outside whatever your framing material is like. Um, so, well, let's say to be specific, you'd measure in five and seven eighths for a two by six wall. And that's because you, you allow for your three eighths plywood on the outside and then your five and a half inches for your two by six. But what I'm getting at is Typically, you just measure in on all four corners. Do, 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 do. Right? And you, you snap your chalk lines according to the garage pad. And then that's the inside of your framing. Now, what I've come into problems with is that you show up and let's say you measure, you just Let's say you measure this distance and this one, and it's 20 and 30, looks good. You measure the diagonal, they match, awesome. You assume it's square, but then this one's 20 foot, one inch, and this is, let's say, 30 foot, one and a half inch. So, although your diagonal measurements worked out and they match, your dimensions, this one doesn't match that, that doesn't match that. So it's technically not square because the dimensions are messed up. So I've fallen into that problem before. So usually what you have to do is just make it so that wherever you're measuring from, whether you have to minus, sometimes it takes some mucking around in order to get the dimensions equal and square. But another way to manipulate this, so I don't want to confuse anyone, is we can use the three, four, five rule. And I've done the, the video on that just to give you the gist of it all. And I'll show you how you can make that work. And sometimes each scenario is a little bit different, but this is what I would do. I would just choose one of the sides of the, the garage. And since this edge is usually a bit wavy, like that, I would just pick a spot, measure in, and I would just snap my line across here, right? And it's then I know with a chalk line that it's nice and straight. And then I'm not trying to measure off of a concrete pad that's all wavy or whatever. Then what I would do is I would do I would measure in the same amount and I'd make a, a mark just right there. So then from this point, I can just determine I can use the three, four, five rule to figure out square and we're going to make this corner square so on a garage I would probably do like a 9 12 okay times that by 3 3 3 yeah sometimes in each of those by 3 9 12 15 so let's say I measure over this way 12 feet to this mark then so this one you don't really have anything to judge by but you measure from this line over nine feet and you kind of make like a little bit of a bigger mark, nine feet. So then you pull your tape measure from here and wherever 15 feet 
intersects right here. Let's say it intersects right on that spot. So it's 15 feet from there to there, and it intersects at nine foot. Then you can just take your chalk line, have someone hold it here, pull it all the way through and past, and as long as the line intersects that X, you snap your line. So now you have a square corner. Then it's just a matter of making this measurement and this one parallel and just making this one and this wall parallel and then just to confirm you just do the, the diagonal measurements and it should be square.